You're ready. Stand by. It felt Hey guys, it's Mark with Hawkeye Ordnance. Welcome to the only piece of the outdoors I really have left living in a condo in the city. But uh, So I'm driving down, dropping my kids off from uh, an event at their school on Saturday yesterday. And uh, I saw this, what looks like a piece of crap to anybody else sitting out in this guy's front yard with a free sign on it. And I thought to myself, uh, self, that's either better than the one I've already got for my three gun car or um, or it's going to be worse, but I'm going to find somebody who wants it. So uh, it turns out after a little bit of inspection, this might actually be my, my like ideal setup right here. So we're going to tear into this today and see if we can't turn it into a really effective three-gun cart. So first thing i got to do is, um, however lovely this is, we do need to get rid of it. So that's all coming off. And the great thing about these old kind of vintage ones is that um, this stuff is all, it's not screwed on. It's literally all Velcro. So it's just, chuck it and then when I looked at this for the first time without all the, the uh, cover on it I realized this thing is just huge cavity in here nice straight steel um, beams so I think this is going to be absolutely perfect for mounting my guns too but uh, it's got to be 30 years old at this point so I'm um, going to have to do some work on it and get it cleaned up so I think what we're going to do is uh, take it apart scrape all the rust off it and uh, paint it up. I happen to have a can, can of uh, blue metallic, so I think this is gonna be awesome. Let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah. Oh, that's gonna get chicks for sure. Okay, so um, I'm gonna just keep the film rolling. I'll probably cut a whole bunch of the garbage out, but uh, looking forward to getting this thing set up. So here we go. So that's basically it. Uh, we're going to take it inside now, let it dry overnight so everything hardens, and then we'll put on the uh, gun mounts and uh, create some sort of a space cover right here. I don't know what, yeah, I don't want to add any weight if I can avoid it. It's already very heavy, so we'll see you tomorrow. All right, guys, so we finally got the, uh, the blue coating done. I'm pretty happy with the color. Um, and now we're going to mount the uh, mounts for the guns on here. So um, there's the company, Colpin is the one that I've been using. And this is the step up from the last one. For 20 bucks, you get these ones that are, you can't really adjust the cant and stuff on them. And these are uh, 30 bucks a pair. And so we're gonna try these on this one. I mounted up, uh, my trusty Ruger is sitting in for my rifle right now, which is getting some new toys attached. And um, we're gonna put these other set on. And then after that, I've kind of been working on this a little bit. And this is the original rain hood that came with this. And what we're gonna do is, um, take this amazing color and turn it uh, black. But what's great about this is I drilled some extra holes so I could lower this and with some uh, Velcro it'll cover the, the bag and give me a decent rain cover in here which I'm thinking will be uh, a pretty good way to go. So. Alright guys, so right now we're trying to get that uh, teal nylon top, you might remember this, to turn black. And um, so I went to Walmart and I got like a really cheap big pot and uh, some Rit dye. And uh, I got to boil this thing for 30 minutes. But what I noticed is, and I was really hopeful that, uh, you know, after 30 years that most of the whatever scotch guarding or waterproofing that was on that, uh, that cover would uh, somehow have faded away. But it took forever just to get it wet, let alone in the dye. So we're going to boil it for about 30 minutes and then uh, check in. In the meantime... We're living large and in charge with McDonald's cheeseburgers. Mm. Nice. So I've been working very hard and very seriously on this for the last, I don't know, <clears throat> half hour and it's starting to turn out black. <laughs> Yay. So I'm going to go another like 10-15 minutes dyeing this thing um, just to make it as black as I can and then I got to 
go read the directions and figure out what to do next. Um, but uh, yeah, no, this is really sucks. Uh, don't do this if you don't have to. Hey guys, this is Mark with Hawkeye Ordnance with the uh, finished gun cart. So um, I thought I'd just quick go through everything we did here and give you some pricing so that you can look at doing this for yourself. I did find this cart for free, uh, but I've seen them, you know, decent ones up to about 50 bucks. I'll be honest with you, I've, this is my third cart I've done, and the one I was using this season was one of those kind of new fancy one with shocks and all that stuff, and really, uh, it was a fine cart, there's nothing wrong with it, but, um, you know, there are much smaller cavities in here for gear, and um, they're made to be light, and that's great when you're jogging with a kid and throwing it out of the car, but when you've got 75 pounds worth of stuff strapped on it, um, I'm pretty excited to have this heavy duty frame. Um, let's see, I did do the gun mounts were 60. They do the same company, um, Colpin makes these uh, without the articulating points, but the nice thing about this I thought was kind of cool was you can take off the mounts if you needed to store it in a smaller space um, or you wanted to you know, change them up a little bit, they're pretty easy to manage. And so these were 60, and, uh, but you could do that for 40 bucks. So I got 60 bucks in on this right here. Uh, sandpaper and the can of uh, blue metallic Rust-Oleum that I had laying around, so that was free for this one, but what, 15 bucks top, something like that. Um, the writ dye, and I did buy a new pot, um, so I didn't ruin any of my good ones to dye up this uh, <coughs> this old ugly teal top. Uh, it was about 12 bucks. We got uh, I've got 72 so far into this, maybe it's a little bit of tax. Um, I had a bungee cord laying around to kind of fill up the bottom. I tried some different things, some wood, some metal, some different braces, and you know they all added weight and didn't really give me any more than this did. So I had this one laying around. That was free. Um, and then I bought this little case here today from uh, North Face. It's one of their rubberized, uh, it's like a miniature version of their big rubberized gear bags. And I thought it was kind of perfect. I mean, it had lashing points on both sides so I could mount it right in there. Um, room in here for my cameras. Um, we obviously do a lot of videoing. And uh, wallet and cell phone and stuff like that during the match. Easy to get to but still waterproof, which is a big deal. And that's it. Oh, I did have uh, like five, six bucks into a can of waterproofing spray that I, I put over the top of this. I figured after boiling it for an hour or so with Rit dye that I probably removed some of the waterproofing ability. So um, I sprayed that on there and then um, threw it in the dryer for 30 minutes. And so it turned out pretty good all around. So I'm in um, right around 100 bucks for this right now. And if you didn't have anything uh, laying around, you'd probably be in the neighborhood of 150 to 165, 70 bucks, something like that which seems like a lot, um, but you know, this is a, I've only done one match without one and it sucked. And so uh, I'm happy to have one now that I think meets all my criteria um, until I can find something better. But uh, if you look at like the purpose built ones by Rugged Gear, you're starting out at 230 bucks. So you're saving 50, 60 dollars even if you have nothing laying around and you get it the way you want it. So. Uh, if you have questions or uh, any uh, comments about this uh, silly project, we'd love to hear from you. Leave a, you know, a, a comment on the YouTube channel or shoot me an email, mark at hawkeyeordinance.com or uh, go over to our Facebook page and PM us. Our phone number is on the website, hawkeyeordinance.com. We'd love to hear from you and we thank you so much for your support in the last few months watching our videos. Have a great uh, winter, guys, and God bless. Yeah.